Thank you, Svetlana. We uh, exhausted our agenda. Please, do we have any questions? Then I, I have a question to Alexander Tulandrina. She talked uh, about the 19th research and uh, uh, Setana talked about the solo one. And uh, there was the difference between the capsules and the pills, or pills and the tablets, essentially. I think you mentioned the difference between those other differences in toxicity. Unfortunately, I haven't shown you the slides that show the difference. I don't think that it's a right thing to do, but uh, in uh, my experience, the use of uh, in the use of uh, PRP inhibitors, the uh, tablets have uh, less toxicity and uh, nausea and vomiting are less uh, expressed with those. Although maybe just the statistical insignificant difference uh, between those two form. Well, I ask that because. Uh, I've heard exactly the opposite results, but uh, I would agree that they are quite subjective. Uh, I saw more side effects with tablet form. That's why I ask that. In practice, uh, we use uh, capsules that are provided by, by the uh, pharma company. I have, I have a question to Vladimir about the PARP inhibitor with the breast cancer patient. It's not a secret that uh, about 40% uh, uh, have metastasis in the brain. Do you have at least uh, limited data on treatment uh, of uh, these patients? Uh, no, I'm not ready to answer this question. I haven't studied the literature. Please, are there any other questions? Questions to Yevgeny, to Svetlana. Okay, then uh, I would like to thank our doctors for their exciting presentations. And what's the bottom line? Uh, what's the lessons that we can learn from uh, that session? The first thing is that uh, BRCA testing is now accessible in this in our country. Rusko made a lot of effort to do so. All uh, ovarian cancer patients uh, should be tested. And uh, in our center, we test all the patients uh, with breast cancers for BRCA mutation. Previously, we talked about triple negative patients with uh, family uh, background, but uh, as uh, we learned, uh, BRCA mutation can take place even with uh, estrogen and progesterone expression. The other thing is that those tumors have uh, different biology. They have different uh, clinical picture and they are treated uh, by uh, medications other than uh, standard treatment. I assume that those patients uh, should be extremely insensitive to immune theory because uh, uh, here they, they should be much more sensitive to inhibitors and other types of uh, immune therapy. So it's a very promising area of research. For the time being, those uh, uh, this data has not just theoretical but uh, practical uh, value and if a BRCA mutation is identified, the relatives should be considered and should be offered the uh, examination. My experience is limited, but uh, I know that uh, many uh, 
people are unhappy to share that with the relatives uh, uh, because uh, mutations are not perceived uh, well uh, sometimes uh, um, people with mutations are perceived as uh, uh, people with deficiencies. So I think we should advocate uh, uh, more and uh, we should uh, explain and outreach uh, the tell about the risks of uh, mutations in terms of tumor formation. So prevention is always better than treatment. I thank you all.